Hurricane Barrel finally attains Category 5 Strength. Well, I'm not sure if anyone saw this coming, as Hurricane Barrel has become a Category 5 so early in the season at 13.8 degrees north and 64.9 degrees west as of the NHC's 3 Zulu update. Uh, that would be advisory number 14, if I am correct, with a wind speed of 160 miles an hour uh, with a, and a central pressure of 936, as confirmed by Recon, even though the NHC have gone with 938. Currently moving to the west-northwest at 21 miles an hour and still remaining a code red on Tico, slightly further uh, less than the previous update, which is 110, it is now 108. So that's 260 kilometers an hour sustained winds, 27.64 inches of mercury, moving west northwest at 33 kilometers per hour. Once again, this system has attained category five major hurricane status. So once again, 160 miles an hour, 260 kilometers an hour, central pressure of 936 millibars, 27.64 inches of mercury, placing this system at 360 miles away from Ponce, 525 from Santo Domingo, 904 from Kingston, Jamaica, 1221 from Georgetown, and 1596 from Cancun. That's 579 kilometers away from Ponce, 845 from Santo Domingo, 1454 from Kingston, 1965 from Georgetown, and 2568 kilometers from Cancun. This, with the wind fields of the system have grown quite a bit, 110 being the, the biggest in the northeastern side, 100 nautical miles to the uh, southeastern and northwest side of this system. 35 uh, nautical miles on the northeastern side of hurricane force winds, 25 to the southeast, 15 southwest, 30 to the northwest. Major Hurricane Barrel is now a very powerful and extremely dangerous Category 5 system. This system will continue to traverse west northwest and will eventually make landfall in Jamaica at major strength, with a hurricane warning in effect for Jamaica as well and a tropical storm warning for the south coast of the Dominican Republic from Ponta Palenque uh, westward to the border with Haiti so and the south coast of Haiti from the border with the Dominican Republic to Arns d'Arnot. And once again, the fact that this is now a Category 5 does not change a thing about the potential impacts that this storm will bring. I repeat, the fact that this is now a Category 5 does not change a thing about the potential devastating impacts that this storm will bring. So here's our latest forecast animation. As you can see, it's expected to weaken from here on out, expected to impact Kingston, Jamaica as a category three, and then continue its weakening trend, eventually impacting the Yucatan as a category one, weakening out to a tropical storm before re-emerging out on the Gulf of Mexico. Our confidence is medium to low in this forecast. Uh, just so you guys are aware, the primary hazards are damaging winds. This is a Category 5 system uh, expected to bring winds of up to 160 miles an hour and possibly higher gusts across certain parts of the Caribbean, most notably Jamaica. These extremely strong winds can have the potential to knock debris off of buildings and it is strongly advisable to stay in your safe place until the danger passes and the storm has cleared from your location. Once again, this is now a category five storm in July, which I believe it's the earliest category five in the season to date, which is rather unprecedented beating. I believe it was Emily by about two weeks. So here's the latest cone from the, Nor the NHC advisory 14. This is, as you can see, it is expected to continue weakening out towards the uh, Yucatan and eventually re-emerge over the Gulf of Mexico. Rather interestingly, I don't believe this image has updated since the last advisory, as it still says uh, locally 10 inches plus of rain over the Grenadines. This storm has is really clear of the Grenadines, 
So once again, I'm not sure why this image isn't updated. This is available on the NHC website. But when it comes to the storm force winds, as you can see, it says roughly around a 90% chance of storm force winds. That's 34 knots for Jamaica. Just uh, the 100% graphic, just slightly off the coast, right about then. And when it comes to hurricane force winds, that uh, looks to be about 30-40% as far as my eyeballing it goes. But as the system approaches Jamaica, uh, those chances will increase. Once again, we are looking as what the forecast says, a, a, a direct landfall on Jamaica. So when it comes to the sea surface temperatures, once again, we're looking at around 29 degree waters as far as my uh, eyeballing goes. And the surface plots, again, looking at around that, uh, I'm seeing 1010 as the lowest uh, pressure system. Winds are, again, Pretty, uh, pretty calm, but around around this, there aren't any uh, closer to the storm's uh, eye at the moment. When it comes to the multimodal diagnostics, this is basically the storm's peak. Deep layer shear is on the rise shortly in a moment. Uh, sea surface temperatures, once again, not a problem. Mid level relative humidity, also not a problem for this system. And once again, when it comes to the satellite imagery, just that is stunning appearance from this system right right now you can take a look at this satellite imagery for yourself on the website force-13.com forward slash satellite once again the system has intensified it has finally done it it has made it to a category 5 strength this early in the season we're only on july 2nd and yeah i think this is like the uh, record the record beater and so when, as the imagery changes right there, again, stunning appearance on, I believe this is true color. Although it, mixed, it looks like it's mixed in with a bit of infrared as well. Yeah, again, absolutely stunning appearance. I, when I first found out that this system had um, been upgraded to category five as per the National Hurricane Center, I was in disbelief. And again, it really shows it, it really does show it. But anyways, that is going to do it stay tuned to force 13 for more updates on this extremely powerful storm those in the path of the system stay safe stay alert uh, listen to your local weather station on guidance on what to do and make sure that pre preparations excuse me are completed by now if they are not complete get them rush to completion get them done as soon as possible